Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is chapter 21, verse 2, which says, A person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. A person may think their ways are right. How many of you think your ways are right? Well, of course, there's parts of us that, yes, I know my ways are right, but it's the Lord then that gets behind the scenes. He gets behind the action, the right action that we are putting out there. And what he does is uncovers again the why we do the right action. So we may have, we may do all the right things. The Pharisees were so guilty of this. (laughs) They did all the right things in public appearance. They had all their I's dotted and their T's crossed. As a matter of fact, they chastised people when they didn't do the right things. But you know what? It's when the Lord showed up, when Jesus showed up, they, they were disciplining him simply because his actions weren't accordingly, accord, uh, that didn't work according to what they thought. And so the Lord himself was corrected by others. We can do the same thing. <laughs> we can do all the right things, have all the right actions, and yet our heart motive be far away from pleasing God or from serving the Lord because inside of our heart it may be filled with dead man bones it could be filled with um, hatred and greed and envy you can still do the right things and still have those inside your heart because you could still be serving self self sometimes wants to do the right thing because it wants to please others it wants to look good it, it, it's, it, it is, it's like it doesn't, it doesn't have the conscious thought that you're doing this for the Lord. It may have the conscious thought, your thinking may, that you're doing the right thing and people are liking you and it looks good, but the Lord is the one that determines whether or not your actions are right and, and he's the one that gets that place. It isn't even us that gets to determine that. It is God. But see, this, this, requires us faith leader to allow ourselves to be so vulnerable before the Lord helping allowing him to speak to us about the why allowing him to show us what's really the motive behind what's really inside of our heart Lord show me my heart cleanse my heart make it is make it as clean as you determine Lord it's up to you that's that's the place so when we walk into our workplaces Our motive, therefore, is to please God and to serve Him and not necessarily to draw any attention to you, but all attention to God. So here's my challenge. Allow allow God to examine your heart. 